Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, honestly, I was kind of expecting the Dokkan V-Jump leak for this month to give us some info about the next Dokkan Fest unit coming to the JP side of the game, like it usually does, right? But then I remembered that a while ago it was announced that they would stop doing that, so instead the V-Jump scan was literally just a recap of the Golden Week celebration stuff with the uh, Goku and Cell Dual Dokkan Fest, and the LR, Goku, and Gohan. So uh, yeah, instead of doing a full video recapping stuff that you guys already know about, in this video, I'm going to be prepping my fellow global players for the next uh, celebration slash summonable unit that we can expect to see after the Golden Week slash Goku Day celebration is over. So yeah, with that said, let's Jump right into it, and uh, basically when it comes to Global, there are two main celebrations that we're still missing from the JP side. The first one is this Train to the End Super Growth campaign, which would bring over the Dokkan Fest Captain Ginyu, as well as the two Ginyu Force side units. And the other celebration is this... Uh, Spring Breeze Blooming Sakura Dokkan Campaign, which would bring with it the Dokkan Fest Raditz, right? So these are the two main units that we're missing from the JP side right now, the Dokkan Fest Raditz and the Dokkan Fest Captain Ginyu. And it could definitely be either one of these, you know, global can be kind of random sometimes, but based on the release order of these units, it's much more likely that we'll be getting this celebration right here with the Dokkan Fest Captain Ginyu. So in this video, we are going to be focusing primarily on the uh, Train to the End Super Growth Campaign, as well as Ginyu and the side units, and the other events that come with it. If it ends up being the Raditz celebration instead, um, that's my bad. Okay, so let's jump over to the Captain Ginyu banner first. As you can see, we have the Ginyu himself, along with two side units, an Int, Birder, and Jace, and an STR, Raccoon, and uh, Goldo. And the rest of the banner consists of the Tech, uh, Killing Khalifla, the STR, Kefla, the STR, Kalkin Goku, and also the uh, STR, Namek, Super Saiyan Goku. So, overall, I would have to say, if the banner remains the same, um... It's not the greatest <laughs> as far as Dokkan Fest banners go, as far as by today's standards. Um, I think it's like decent. It's decent, but not that good. But on the bright side, Ginyu himself is really, really good. So popping over to the unit here, we have AGL, the Captain's Trump card, Captain Ginyu. Leader skill is... Terrifying Conquerors or Planet Namek Saga, Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 130%, plus an additional HP Attack and Defense plus 30% for characters who also belong to the Space Traveling Warriors category. Super Attack raises defense and causes immense damage, and passive is Attack and Defense plus 180%, plus an additional Attack plus 50% when performing a Super Attack, launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, plus an additional attack and defense, plus 10% per Ginyu Force category ally on the team, up to 50%. Ginyu Force category allies, attack and defense, plus 30%. Attacks effective against all types when there is another Ginyu Force category ally on the team. And the active skill is transformation into um, Ginyu Goku, and it can be activated when HP is 70% or less, starting from the fourth turn from start of battle once only. His links are Freeze's army, Gentleman, Respect, Inu Force, Loyalty, Signature Pose, and Fierce Battle, and categories are Planet Namek Saga, uh, Ginyu Force, uh, Dragon Ball Seekers, Terrifying Conquerors, Special Pose, Space Traveling Warriors, and Corroded Body and Mind. So, as you can see, his passive is really good. He can be really, really powerful. He's just a little bit limited in terms of like getting his full potential because you do need to be running a primarily Ginyu Force team to get everything on his passive, right? So there is that. 
But uh, jumping over to the Ginyu Goku now. Super attack raises attack, so he's stacking attack instead of defense and causes immense damage. And passive is recovers 59% HP once only. Attack and defense plus 200%. Plus an additional attack plus 50% when performing a super attack launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. Plus an additional attack, defense, and chance of performing a critical hit and chance, uh, sorry, hold on. Chance of performing a critical hit chance. That's, that's not right. <laughs> okay, so chance of performing a critical hit and chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, plus 10% with each attack performed up to 50%. So there's an extra uh, chance here. That kind of confused me. But anyways, uh, from there we have a high chance of foreseeing enemy super attacks when there is an ally whose name includes Jace on the team. And the links and the categories stay the same. So in my opinion, this G Captain Ginyu uh, Dokkan Fest unit is really, really good. Just as I said, a little bit limited in terms of like which teams he would be super effective on, but on his best team with like the Ginyu Force members, he is absolutely amazing. So that is the AGL Captain Ginyu or Ginyu Goku. And moving on to his side units here, just quickly going over these guys. The Int, Jace, and Birder. Leader skill is Space Traveling Warriors, category K plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 130%. Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 150%, medium chance of launching an additional super attack, plus an additional attack and defense plus 10%, with each attack performed up to 50%, high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, space traveling warriors, category allies, K plus 3, attack and defense plus 30%, all allies attack and defense plus 30% when your team has an ally, whose name includes Ginyu, attacking in the same turn. Links are Freeze's army, Freeze's minion, Ginyu Force, Tag Team of Terror, Signature Pose, Loyalty, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Planet Dynamic Saga, Ginyu Force, uh, Dragon Ball Seekers, Join Forces, Terrifying Conquerors, Special Pose, and Space Traveling Warriors. So that's the Int, Jason Burder. And then we have the STR, Raccoon, and Guldo. Leader skill is Planet Dynamic Saga, Key Plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 130%. Uh, super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, supreme damage, and greatly lowers attack and defense. And passive attack and defense plus 180% plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% with each attack received up to 50%. High chance of guarding all attacks plus an additional defense plus 50% within the same turn. When guard is activated, seals the attacked enemy super attack, guards all attacks, and high chance of stunning the attacked enemy when there is an ally whose name includes Ginyu attacking in the same turn. Lynx freezes army, freezes minions, Ginyu force brutal beatdown, uh, signature pose, loyalty, and fierce battle. And categories are Planet Dynamic Saga, Ginyu force, Dragon Ball Seekers, Join Forces, Terrifying Conquerors, Special Pose, and Space Traveling Warriors. So that is everything you guys need to know about the three most likely upcoming units on Global. As I said before, it could be the Raditz and Nappa that drop next is just much more likely, in my opinion, that we get the Ginyu Goku and the other members of the Ginyu Force um, after Golden Week. And then we'll probably get the uh, you know, Raditz Celebration um, still before the anniversary, I think, most likely. I could be wrong. Um, I'll have to look into that. But either way, uh, I do think Ginyu Goku is next, okay? so. Uh, before we go, let's take a closer look at the full celebration so you guys have an idea of what events to expect. So, uh, scrolling down a little bit here, we have some, you know, login bonus and mission stuff like that, pretty standard. We have the Dokkan Fest banner, we have the Elder Kai banner, some stone sails, a new Dokkan event for the uh, Ginyu Goku. Now, this is really exciting to me. If we get the Ginyu Goku celebration, We'll also be getting the new stages to the, uh, I think it was just Great 8 Bardock Extreme Z area, but now it's going to include the free-to-play members of the uh, Team Bardock as well. So all of those guys will be getting the uh, their Extreme Z Awakenings, like the uh, Fasha, you know, the free-to-play Bardock, the 
uh, Torah, and so on and so forth. And uh, that's pretty awesome. And we'll also be getting the return of the Extreme Z Area stage or uh, event for the free to play Gaming Force, of course. Uh, some returning story events, some returning Extreme Z areas, a new stage added to Super Battle Road. Um, I'm not sure what this one was. We might already have it on Global. If not, then new stage. Always exciting. And obviously a new Ultimate Clash. A new Super Strike event renewal. So the Int Super Strike Android 16 will be getting an Extreme Z Awakening as well for the celebration. And then finally we have the 12th Peton Battle. So uh, quite a few things to look forward to for the celebration. Um, to me the most exciting thing is definitely the uh, Team Bardock Extreme Z Awakenings. And uh, obviously I do really want the Ginyu Goku, so hopefully we pull him because our luck has been absolutely garbage recently. I just gotta be honest, man. Like, I did not pull either of the Dual Dokkan Fest Goku or Cell, right? And then for part two, I also didn't pull, uh, did, didn't pull the Goku and Gohan LR. Although, to be fair, I only spent like 400 stones, so that's not that crazy. But uh, yeah, just not the best luck as of late, so hopefully um, things change when this guy drops. And uh, just one last time, one last time, it might actually end up being this banner right here, okay? It might be this celebration, so I just want to cover my butt a little bit and uh, I guess quickly show you guys the banner in case you're curious what that looks like. We got the Raditz and the Nappa, and uh, the banner, I will say, is probably a bit better um, compared to the Ginyu Goku banner, but there are two new side units on the Ginyu Goku banner, so maybe that evens it out a little bit. I don't know. Uh, the Nappa is really good. The Nappa is really, really good. The Raditz could be better, I think, but either way, uh, I don't think he's coming next. I could be wrong. We'll see. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Look forward to either Captain Ginyu or Raditz. Most likely getting you for the next uh, Dokkan Fest on Global, dropping uh, late April, or sorry, not April, uh, late May slash early June, okay? And um, yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, now that I think about it, we're most likely not going to be getting another Dokkan Fest after, you know, the next Dokkan Fest before the anniversary. That didn't make any sense. So basically, we're probably gonna get like the Ginyu banner right before um, the anniversary and then we're gonna be going into the countdown for the anniversary and then the seventh anniversary will start and then somewhere between the seventh anniversary, like the end of the seventh, seventh anniversary and the beginning of the worldwide celebration, um, we'll get the other Dokkan Fest which will probably be Raditz, okay? So, um, yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed uh, today's video. And uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys are excited for either of these two units, the Ginyu or the Raditz. Uh, I personally do really want the Ginyu. The Raditz is kind of whatever. I, I got to be honest, man, not really too hype for me. But this guy, along with his side units, are uh, pretty exciting to me. So... Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.